Hi there, and welcome back. So far, we've already started understanding some of the principles of what we call pharmacodynamics. And simply put, pharmacodynamics means what the drug does to the body, basically how the drug works in the body. And with respect to pharmacodynamics, we've already taken a look at a few medications that work by direct action, and we've also learned that the majority of our medications work on cellular receptors, either as agonists doing the same thing as the natural substance would, or as antagonists going onto that receptor, blocking that receptor, and preventing our natural substances from binding onto the receptor. And one of the goals in this chapter will be to advance our knowledge of the antagonists as we develop a really good picture of the drug group that blocks the histamine 2 receptors. And since the main drug group that we'll be discussing needs to be absorbed into the system in order to work, we're going to begin our discussions of pharmacokinetics. And once again, the first portion of that means drug, but the second portion, the kinetics portion, means movement. So in other words, we're going to begin to understand how our drugs move around the body, what the body does to the drug. And when we're talking about pharmacokinetics, that'll involve four distinct processes, absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. And while we are going to get a really good picture of each one of the processes, that's pretty much our main goal. We're just going to need to picture each one of the processes. We don't need to memorize very much at this point. Once you've pictured each one of the processes, you can add to that picture as you learn about specific drugs. Just a real quick quiz here. One of the main things that we need to do in this chapter is to get a really good picture of absorption of drugs, distribution of drugs around the body, metabolism of drugs, and the excretion of drugs. The branch of pharmacology that covers these is called A, pharmacokinetics, or B, pharmacodynamics. And you are correct if you identified A as the answer. Recall that pharmaco means drug or poison, and kinetics means movement of. So pharmacokinetics involves the movement of drugs through the body and includes the absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. Think of pharmacokinetics as being what the body does to the drug, basically the fate of the drug in the system. It's a really interesting topic, so let's jump straight into it, trying to picture these processes.